Hello and welcome. Sun in here with this light theremin Arduino circuit, where I'm going to show you something very interesting about Arduino, PWM, and the tone functions. So what we have right here is a code which essentially takes an initial light reading from this light sensor right here. It's a photodiode. And then takes subsequent readings and takes this LED power to be the difference between the original reading taken only once at the start of the program and all subsequent readings. So whether the light gets brighter or light gets darker, um, that difference is written to this red LED. So I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I can get my torch to crank up to full power. I'm pretty sure this is going to work both ways. Firstly, if the light gets darker, you see this LED come on. I can also make that effect happen when I shade it. It just comes on. And in theory, at least, I don't know how bright my phone is and I don't know how high the LED is compared to the maximum, but I should be able to generate that with more light. Oh, and as you can see, by adding more light, I can make that come on again. So it simply primes itself to the initial state. So if I turn this light off and then I reload the program, it'll start off or close to off. Now, when I turn this light on, the light will remain on. So essentially, as you can see, it calibrates itself. Now, I want to show you something interesting. Um, what you do with the light, you can do to a speaker, except that if you use the stone function, the PWM, which is essentially giving different amounts of electricity to the light via, you know, serial pulses, is going to stop working. So now that I've actually got the stone of the speaker, that light will stop working, but instead you'll hear the loudspeaker make tones of different frequencies, which I think is way cooler. So check this out. And I can also make the sounds appear. And let's see it recalibrate. This time with light, the frequencies go really high. Okay. I'm just uploading a blank program, perhaps easier than pulling out that speaker. But there you see it. There's a lot you can do to play around with speakers, lights, and PWM. Okay, have fun with it. I'll make sure to give you the link to the code so you can do it yourself. Bye, all.